Welcome to Ida's Kitchen. Bienvenidos. My name is Aida Lugo McAllister and I am going to demonstrate how to prepare baked piñon. Piñon is a plantain meat pie prepared with layers of ground beef mixture, long slices of fried ripe plantain, string beans, and beaten eggs. This dish was traditionally prepared in a skillet and cooked on top of the stove. Today we prefer to bake and add cheese to the pignon. Last year I discovered a new and delicious version of pignon when I visited a restaurant in Cabo Rojo, Puerto Rico. It was presented in individual serving pans and prepared with pieces of fried ripe plantain, chunks of ground beef, not the traditional mince texture, and sprinkled with cheese. No beaten eggs or string beans were added to this dish. All I can tell you is that it was the best baked pignon I have ever tasted, so I decided to create my own version. For the meat mixture, I will be using one and a half pounds of ground turkey. Let's start with preparing the meat. In a three-quart saucepan, heat two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil over medium heat. If you are going to use ground beef, then I would recommend reducing the olive oil to one tablespoon since ground beef produces more grease. We are ready to add the following ingredients. Two tablespoons of sofrito made with culantro, three minced garlic cloves, one quarter cup of chopped onions, three sprigs of chopped cilantro, one teaspoon of light salt or to taste, one third cup of tomato sauce, one tablespoon of paprika to add color, and one and a half teaspoon of adobo without salt. Stir all the ingredients until well blended and saute for three to five minutes. A link will be provided on how to prepare sofrito in large batches or for a single meal on the description section of this cooking video. You can definitely smell the herbs, vegetables, and spices. We can now add one and a half pounds of ground turkey. Stir the ground turkey until it is completely coated with the tomato oil based sauce. Cover skillet with lid and cook over medium heat for three to five minutes. After five minutes of cooking, let's stir the meat. Since we want the meat to remain in chunks, we need to limit the frequency of stirring the ground turkey. If you stir the meat too much, then it will have a minced texture, which is what we want to avoid. Cover skillet with lid and continue cooking for approximately 25 to 30 minutes over medium heat, stirring occasionally. The meat mixture is done after 30 minutes of cooking. 
you can see the chunks of meat in skillet. Place any bowl and set aside. The next step is to saute several ripe plantains. This is a ripe plantain. The flesh is slightly firm with yellow skin color that has several dark spots. The plantain is a member of the banana family, but is much thicker and starchier than the familiar banana. For this recipe, you will need three ripe plantains. With a sharp knife, cut off both ends. And make a slit lengthwise, barely touching the flesh from top to bottom. Peel the plantain. Now we can cut the plantain into one half inch diagonal slices. One plantain will yield five to eight slices depending on the size of the plantain. In a three-quart saucepan, melt four tablespoons of margarine made with extra virgin olive oil over medium heat. Place the plantain slices into saucepan once the margarine has melted. Saute until they have a golden brown color on both sides. As the plantain slices brown on one side, turn them over to brown on the other side. All the plantain slices will not brown at the same time. Therefore, when the plantain slices become golden brown on both sides, remove them from saucepan and place on a cutting board. Continue this process. We are ready to cut each plantain slice into smaller pieces with a sharp knife. Continue this process for the remaining plantain slices. When done, place them in a bowl and set aside. We just finished cutting approximately 24 plantain slices into smaller pieces. I shredded one pound of Gouda cheese. Even though Gouda cheese is a Dutch cheese, it is very popular in Puerto Rico. It melts well due to its high fat content. Preheat oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and let's start assembling the pignon. Layer the bottom of baking pan, measuring eight by eight by two inches with half of the cooked plantain pieces. Add half of the meat mixture on top and spread evenly. Cover the meat mixture with shredded Gouda cheese. You can adjust the quantity of cheese. Repeat this process by adding another layer of cooked plantains, meat mixture, Shred.
breaded cheese. We just assembled the pignon, and now it is time to place in the oven. Bake for 20 to 30 minutes or until the cheese is completely melted. We are done baking the pignon, and it looks delicious. You can see all the different layers for the baked pignon. You can add the ingredients of your preference and or increase or decrease the quantity of each ingredient listed. Also, you can find many brands of adobo without salt online for you to select. Let's taste the baked pignon. Here is a chunk of meat. with a piece of plantain covered with melted cheese. Mmm. Mmm. You can taste the sweetness of the plantain along with the saltiness of the cheese and meat. Mmm. What a great combination for a sweet and savory dish. Que rico! Mm. Mm, mm, mm. I hope you have enjoyed watching my YouTube video on how to prepare baked pignon. Thank you for watching my YouTube cooking video. Please share, like, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you would like a copy of my cookbook, visit my website, idaskitchenboricua.com, and click on the cookbook tab. My cookbook is a bilingual Puerto Rican cookbook, and it contains 42 authentic Puerto Rican recipes that I learned how to cook while living in Puerto Rico. This side is the English version. If you flip the book over, the other side is the Spanish version. Again, thank you for watching my YouTube cooking video.